Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So tonight we're gonna photograph the moon. So I was almost run over by a car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that means she was in the moon. The rendezvous point, it's uh, three kilometers by walking and I am walking with all my gear and the tripod on my back. Sacrifices, man. Sacrifices. I guess I'm happy because uh, it's negative four degrees Celsius. I won't overheat myself. <laughs> well then, a friend of mine mess messaged me. It's a good time to take shots of the moon. And I went like, well, okay. And then Elsa said, let's go take some pictures of the moon. And I said, okay. What is a supermoon? A supermoon, that means that the moon is closer to Earth, so you can have it a little bit better and sharper. So I have my 6D in my back. It's a full frame camera, but uh, I am wondering if Elsa camera will be better because it's not a full frame camera. It's a APS-C camera. That means they're gonna crop a bit on the lens and we'll give her a 1.6 zoom. I have uh, two lenses that I'm bringing with me. The 70-200 2.8. I don't know if we'll have enough zoom, but uh, I have a really special one that it's uh, 100 300 millimeters really old lens but it's really rare to use it so I gonna use it today and a Sigma doubler I lose two points of light but I think will be worth it because I have I have the double the zoom that means the 300 millimeters will be 600 millimeters and I think that will be enough the thing that I am worried about 100 300 millimeters is that it doesn't have any image stabilization and the aperture it's 5.6 so if i remove two points of light will be f11 so that's i really hope that i get enough shutter speed speed to make a sharp image for that with the 6d or the camera of elsa i have no problem pushing up the iso a lot of you ask me about the camera settings to photograph the moon and sometimes on the smartphone. It's really easy. You just have to try the max shutter speed as you can. It's about the same thing, okay? If you do understand exposure using a cell phone or a camera, it's about the same thing. But specifically to the moon, the moon is really bright, so the auto exposure of your camera won't give you the correct exposure for the moon. So you have to do it manually. I don't know if you can pick uh, pick up this. We can't see anything. There is a lot of clouds. So I guess tonight will be a really bad night. It's a lot on my mood live. Plus simple pour faire la netteté. Donc là, ce que je vais faire, c'est je vais remonter beaucoup plus le ISO, pratiquement 1600, et je vais accélérer beaucoup plus le shutter. Comme ça, on va éviter de vibration. Mm. Là, on voit le, le Instagram, tu vois là, le Instagram. Mm. Ça, c'est le détail de la lune. Donc, je m'en fous de le noir. Je veux le détail sur la lune. Et donc là, je vais zoomer dedans sur la image. Il est pas net. Hein? En théorie, elle va traverser comme ça. Ah, oh, tu as tapé. On va redécaler un peu. Hein. On fait un time lapse. On fait une vidéo rapide. Ah, filmer. 